right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And guys, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toastman, who's actually standing, and Log and TV. I think Powder Toastman is, like, going on strike because it continues to, like, fall over all the time. But I don't know. So welcome back, and let's get started. This is another knife that comes by way of Civivi and the Apex Pass Around Group. This one will be moving on to Scott Williams, Big Boar Williams, uh, and um, very soon, but I'm going to do my review of it real quick, and we'll move on. So this is the Civivi Knox, uh, capital N-O and a lowercase x. Uh, guys, Nitro V Blade Steel. Uh, very, very nice in a $65 knife. Let me make sure. Yep, $64 knife on Blade HQ, uh, and I'm impressed overall with this knife. Now, it is a small guy, just six and a half inches long overall Nitro V blade steel. Uh, you do have a really cool satin finish on, on that guy with a flat grind on there. I've seen so many Civivi uh, hologram blades lately. It actually, what? It's, it's not a hologram, but it's not. Uh, you do have nice satin flats, uh, nice swedge here. Really cool looking, pointy, pokey, stabby uh, drop point, as you can tell. Really nice, sharp blade. Um, and it is billboard free, except Nitro V. Really lightly written right there, as you can see, uh, sort of. Um, then you have this beat blasted stainless steel. Uh, let's see, it's... Um, gray obviously be blasted stainless steel you do have swedgy i mean excuse me chamfering here all the way around really well done on that you do have a lanyard hole tip up uh pocket clip uh left and right uh you do have recessed pocket clip screws nice typical civivi pocket clip good retention really well done uh, countersunk screws. You kind of feel them ever so slightly, but they are countersunk. Uh, nice flat pivot, except on the screw side, and then it's bulging just ever so slightly up, uh, barely. It is running on bearings, and it is a frame lock with uh, what looks like an over, yeah, over travel stop right there. Um, let's talk about lock bar access. You can see it sticks up ever so slightly, has chamf uh, excuse me, a cutout there, chamfering, whatever you want to call it, uh, with lines, uh, you know, for jimping that you can get a hold of. Now, uh, again, really cool Nitro V steel blade. It is sharp. Trust me, <laughs> this guy uh, surprisingly sharp. Even though it's been through several reviewers, it is sharp. You do have a finger choil, but it is small. Uh, if you have big fingers, just be aware you may not be able to fit in there, but I can. But I do come right up on that blade, as you can see. Uh, but back here, uh, it is a pretty full four-finger grip, uh, which is amazing for such a small knife. And you do feel this pocket clip where it's nice and tall, um, but it is not, not terrible in any way, shape, form, or fashion. The jimping is in the right place for me in this backed-up grip. Feels really, really good. There you go, Jason Brown. I'm not complaining about the jimping. Um, LOL. Uh, <laughs> uh, you do have a very open construction with a couple of little back spacers here, so really cool. Now, it does come in this box. Uh, Knox, there you go. C2110A, uh, gray steel handle, satin finish Nitro V blade. There you go. It comes in the Civivi pouch which always includes a cloth, a bag, a sticker, and a manual. But you get the nice, uh, just well done. And again, $64. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, so I'm digging this one, guys. It is a really, really nice one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a couple of comparisons here because I have these now, so I might as well show them every once in a while. That is the Rat 1 given to me by some awesome supporters of the channel, and the Rat 2. Now, this is pretty darn close to a Rat 2 size, a little smaller on the handle, as you can see. Now, let's just talk about, on the Knox, uh, the specs. It is, uh, as I said, 6.5 inches long. The blade is 2.75, so it is a small knife. Um, uh, blade thickness, 0.12 of an inch. Um, and the handle length is 3.75, and as far as weight, 
just over three ounces, 3.09. So I dig it, guys. It, it is definitely a backup knife for me. It was never in a primary role in my pocket. It was definitely uh, a secondary for me. So I would carry it, for example, maybe with the Rat 1 as the primary. And this is the secondary just because I like to have a bigger blade with me. Um, but you know, same, you wouldn't do any different with the rat too. I, you know, I do know some people that carry a rat too as, you know, their primary, but that's usually when they're wanting to go low profile or whatever like that. So it just depends. Um, so there you go. Uh, so thanks again, uh, for watching this guys. Let me know, give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know about this knife and what you think about it. And, um, you know, is this something you would buy? I mean, again, it's a nice small knife, but again, great budget knife, great budget price from Civivi. As always, really well made. I didn't, I didn't talk enough about the action. I almost forgot that. So, uh, really good. Man, I, I left a bunch of stuff out. Okay, so uh, really good flipper tab with jimping. Pops right out of there. Let's just try to fail it. Nah, not happening. Uh, nice drop on that one. Great centering. And lockup is about a quarter, 35 to 40, I would say. But good drop. Uh, really, really nice, guys. I really dig this knife. I mean, um, the one that one that I really think of when I think of this knife, but it's a little it's quite a bit bigger. Uh, it's a smaller version of the Rake uh P801SF uh with a slightly stabbier, punchier blade. Um so this would make a really, really good EDC knife, uh, no doubt whatsoever. So I think this is going to be a really popular one for Civivi. So again, let me know what you think. Give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you like what you've seen, guys, consider subscribing. And for those of you that already support the channel, you are amazing. Thank you so much for everything and for watching the Knives Fast channel.